tonight. Young Voices associate contributor James Erniowski, who's up late with me on the Final Five. Uh, you, you've been our go-to guy when it comes to these tech issues. And what I think people don't understand, James, is there was once a time when you had an Apple, when you had an Apple iPhone, but there were no apps. Apps were not a thing until like two or three years in. You're absolutely right, Jim. I mean, when the App Store first came out, I think the number of total applications on an iPhone was around 500. Now there's hundreds of thousands, if not millions of apps that people can potentially buy on these app stores. So, so this all comes, there's a, there's a big antitrust lawsuit, and this has to do with, uh, with Epic Games, which owns Fortnite. And this all comes down to, uh, you, you would have to, I've never played Fortnite before, but I know a lot, there's a lot of games where you can do these in-game purchases to buy uh, power-ups or, or buy different items in the game. Apple takes a cut. When you buy something from the App Store, whether it's the app or any add-ons, Apple takes a, a cut, correct? Absolutely, and that's not an uncommon practice. We see that applied across all kinds of industry. When they're buying through Sony or Microsoft, this cut is very traditional. So what, what is it for Apple? I mean, it, what, is it like 30% or something like that? The traditional number that's been put around is 30%, but Apple did make an announcement recently saying that they were going to lower their fee, and other companies have followed suit too. So, so what's, what's at the heart of this suit here? I mean, is this basically, because right now, if I want to put an app on my phone, unless I know how to sideload something, which, you know, involves, uh, you, you really have to do much more than just, just download an app on it. Right now, I only have one option. If, if anybody wants to buy an app, you have one option. So, so could that change depending on how this lawsuit pans out? It's going to definitely be interesting to monitor to see how the judge rules on this. But right now, Epic is accusing Apple of abusing its position of having exclusivity with the App Store uh, for removing them because they had an in-app purchase capability and that violated Apple's terms of service. So if, if they would win this case, then yes, it could theoretically fundamentally change the way that we see how the App Store works for Apple moving forward. Is this, is this a, a strictly Apple issue? I mean, is, Google has their Play Store for people with Android phones. I mean, I can't, I can't download an app from Google App Store, for, from the Google Play Store to my, to my iPhone. Is that something that could potentially happen down the road if, if, uh, if Epic wins their, wins their suit here? It's something that could be theoretically possible. And just for noting, Epic does also have an antitrust lawsuit filed against Google, too, oh, okay. for its app store. <laughs> so they're suing everybody right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's amazing, too, because it has become this. I don't think people, I don't think we really saw at the dawn, because I th if I'm not mistaken, it was the iPhone 3G where the app store came into being. Or maybe, it, yeah, it was the 3G. I'm, I'm thinking back to covering all these Apple launches through my career. But, I mean, it really was a big deal, but I don't think anybody saw it becoming this huge revenue maker. Maybe Apple did see that on the horizon, but it, do, it is big business, and this could hit them right in the wallet. You're absolutely right, Jim. I don't even think Apple in its wildest dreams would have predicted how popular the App Store would have become ultimately. And part of the reason why Epic cares so much in this battle is that when you look at mobile gaming, which is what Fortnite is in this case... It's one of the most rapidly growing industries right now. And during the pandemic, that's only accelerated. And there's a lot of money on the line for Epic. If more users download Fortnite theoretically and they had to pay Apple, that's a lot of money that they'd be paying to Apple just to have the right to have their app, uh, their app listed in the App Store. All right, so how long do we think this is gonna take? Well, the, 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 this particular trial is expected to last for another couple of weeks, but you can expect no matter how the judge rules that there will be an appeal on the decision, and this is just the beginning of a longer fight. Yeah, I mean, we have this, and, and obviously I've, I've been following some of the developments out of the courtroom here, but it's going to be fascinating to see how this, uh, how this all pans out. James Derniowski, always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me, Jim. All right, uh, let's take it in the break.